I am Dr. Madhushri Vijay Kumar, Consultant Obstetrician and Gynecologist from Motherhood Hospital, Hebal. Today I am going to talk about sustainable menstruation. It's an interesting topic considering the fact that we are going through a tough pandemic. It is also important to think about the environment on the other side. I chose this topic, the sustainable menstruation, because this is the talk of the town, talk of the country, talk of the world. Because my daughter who is a teenager always talks about you know, being a pro-environmentalist to find out and you know, different innovations and technologies so that our mother earth is not going to suffer anymore from use of these plastic napkins which has been there with us for many many years. Sustainable menstruation is a uh, way forward wherein we are actually trying to green the red. What I mean is if we are able to reduce the plastic load on the environment, we will be able to use lot more biodegradable products in order to achieve the same result. One plastic sanitary napkin or the sanitary napkin what we use on our daily basis takes about 800 years to biodegrade. So it is extremely important to reduce the menstruation footprint on our mother earth. So I chose this topic basically in order to educate other women. Most of the teenagers are aware right now about yeah, what is the pro-environmental no. friendly menstruation products. Can we sustain it? Is what the major studies are showing. Yes, it is of huge benefit. Using the sustainable menstrual products reduces the non-biodegradable environmental waste thereby making it more user friendly for women as well as girls. I would like to talk about few sustainable menstrual products. From ages known, women have been using the menstrual cotton cloth. But the cloth was not used it in a right way. That means to say, the you know the old torn cotton saris were converted into the menstrual cloth and then were being used. And the disadvantage or uh, you know the, the women were not aware for the fact that these clothes post usage and after washing should be sun dried adequately. But because of the taboos and stigmas associated with menstruation per se, which we most of the you know policies and regulations have come up with the government to educate, uh, these women were not aware that uh, you know this is not a stigma or a taboo, which is something which is natural. So these women used to dry their clothes inside the house which would lead to infections that's when the sanitary napkins came into vogue but now you know the, the evidence is suggesting that use of menstrual cloth can be done as long as it is washed properly and sun dried newer uh, you know companies have come up with using the sustainable menstrual products using these cloth menstrual cloth which can be safely kept in a place and reused again which is easy on your pockets as well and good for the health. The commonly discussed or easily available nowadays on Amazon and other uh, you know websites is the menstrual cups. Menstrual cups is extremely user friendly, low on your budget and also helps to prevent or reduce the menstruation footprint on earth. Menstrual cups come in different sizes. The, the smaller ones for younger teenagers which can be used, they need not have to be sexually active for using the menstrual cups which are earlier discussed. The moderate sizes are available for those who have not had children. The larger cups if necessary for those you know, who have delivered babies. So the menstrual cups also depends upon the, the size of the vagina as well as the usage. Now, a woman who is into the field trips or is away from home or a place where the restrooms are not available, the cups can be used for a maximum period of 8 to 10 hours, following which it can be easily taken out, cleaned and reusable again. I also would like to discuss about the menstrual cups, how to, uh, how to insert it and how to remove it. Uh, the insertion is very easy. You have, they are all basically foldable cups. You actually have to hold it between your thumb and your uh, index finger and pinch the menstrual cup. Fold it either way with uh, you know about 175 degrees, 180 degrees angle or you can simply pinch and insert it in the vagina. Allow it to open and make sure you are comfortable. 
when we are removing exactly the same in the reverse direction you have to hold pinch the mouth so that it is not you know the spilling out on your dress or your undercloth remove it carefully open it and then wash it nicely with soap and water pinch it again and reinsert it again so it is extremely user friendly the instructions will be given through when you are actually purchasing the menstrual cups the she cups is actually uh, you know very very popular uh, in the instructions would be given the other sustainable menstrual products is of course the uh, the the menstrual pads which is again extremely hygienic easily available on different websites if we are logging in few other uh, you know modalities of uh, sustainable menstrual products are available the she cups or the the menstrual cups what i was mentioning is easily available the regarding the menstrual pads also for the minimal flow there is a menstrual pad available for the moderate amount and for the larger amount who are actually bleeding for more than 5 to 8 days menstrual pads are available in different sizes the other one is tampon few studies did mention about the risk of infection uh, in the past but now uh, screening women in case if there is any infection treating them earlier we can actually avert this incident and it is reasonably safe to use tampons now the majority of questions asked to the gynecologist by the mothers are you know my teenage daughter is asking if if she can use a cup or a tampon it is safe to use as long as she understands the risks associated with that and seek help whenever necessary it should be safe the tampons again come in different sizes they are smaller till the larger size depending on the number of hours you would want to use and the size of the vagina the tampons can be used now most of the teenagers these uh, you know sustainable menstrual products have been discussed in the school particularly to the 8th grader 9th grader and 10th grader and they actually it is encouraging the younger peers to use the same because they you know mentally preparing themselves to become more pro environmental friendly and I'm, and i am glad i'm choosing this topic to discuss today because i think this is the way forward and sustainable menstruation is going to be with us it's going to save a lot of uh, reducing waste on earth also going to be working well on our pockets reducing the plastic is the way forward find out what is the right way forward and then you choose your sustainable menstrual product that should actually help us to ease out the condition as i mentioned in the beginning uh, i have a 16 year old daughter and the second one who's almost becoming 30 they are quite happy to use the menstrual uh, sustainable menstrual products on their own my first one is extremely pro environmentally so she keeps talking about to her little sister uh, as mothers we should strongly encourage our daughters to be more pro environmental friendly i'm sure most of them are but i'm happy to share this uh, information with you any further information you would require please log in to motherhood hospital website for further information we are here to help you out thank you very much